Welcome to the Quosa Information Manager video tutorial series. This short video will show you how to export citations from Quosa Information Manager into other citation management applications, such as EndNote. In addition to the standard citation information, Quosa will also include a link that provides a one-click access to the article in your Quosa archive. When exporting citations for the first time, or when switching citation management applications, specify which citation manager you want to export your citations to. Go to Settings, Citation Manager, select Citation Manager, and select the one you wish to use. In preparation for the export, make sure you have a library ready in EndNote to receive the citations. In older versions of EndNote, you will have the option to select a library during the export. In newer versions of EndNote, the library that was open most recently will be used automatically. When exporting citations from Quosa to EndNote for the first time, be sure to turn EndNote off before the first export. Select the articles you wish to export in the Results pane. To select all, click on one and Control A. To select only some, use the Control or Shift keys while clicking on the articles, or add flags and then select all flagged articles. When satisfied with your selection, click the Two Citations button. Quosa launches EndNote automatically and adds your citations to your default library. That's it! Take a look at all the citation information that was exported. In addition to the standard citation fields, Quosa also adds two URLs. One points to the abstract of the article in PubMed or its original source. The other one points to the article in your Quosa Information Manager archive or Quosa Virtual Library if this was configured. This URL is a special quick launch link that provides one-click access to the article. Simply click on it to open up the article in Quosa Information Manager. During the export, the articles are automatically copied to the My Citations folder in Quosa to ensure that they are always accessible even if you delete the article from your original Quosa folder. By default, the Quick Launch link points to the article in your local Quosa data folder, which is usually on your C drive. These links will only open the article if the drive is accessible. For example, if you move your Citation Manager library to another computer, links to articles on your original hard drive will not be accessible. Instead of using Quick Launch links to your local Quosa data folder, you can use links to the virtual library, assuming you have access to a Quosa virtual library. These links will work on any computer as long as the virtual library can be reached. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos on our website or the Quosa YouTube channel. Detailed instructions about all topics are available in the User Manual and Web Help in the Help menu of Quosa. For sales-related questions, contact sales at quosa.com. For technical questions, contact support at quosa.com.